In Los Angeles, where it is three hours earlier than Florida, NBC's affiliate, KNBC, decided to cover the launch live. This is a special report from Channel 4 News. Second point in our Good morning, I'm Ken Shocknick in Space Shuttle Challenger. It's just a few seconds away from blasting off from the Kennedy Space Center near Cape Canaveral, Florida. Let's take a look right now. Challenger finally getting ready to leave KSC. It's launch delayed a couple of times because of weather and mechanical problems. T minus 15 seconds. The voice of launch control, Hugh Harris of NASA. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start, four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff off the 25th in. Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Challenger going into its roll. That's planned. Good roll Watch program. Spiral control. away from pad 39B, Challenger the first use of range. pad 39B since the old Apollo days and the Skylab missions. It's chilly in Florida. Icicles formed on the pad overnight. NASA Engine engineers were concerned that now. they might have broken off during the launch and affected the throttle, fragile uh, heat protection the tiles that protect the shuttle on its way back in during re-entry. We'll throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. Don't know what the effect might be just yet. The astronauts will take a look later on during the mission. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. APUs, the Auxiliary power units. 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. It's always amazing to hear how quickly the shuttle moves. It's already more than 4 miles downwind as we just heard. throttling up. 3 engines now at 104%. Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. The shuttle mission will launch... My God. One minute 15. There's seconds. been an explosion. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 7 nautical miles. This is not standard. This is not something that is planned, of course. I can see a solid rocket booster has broken away from Shuttle Challenger. That's what you're looking at in the middle of your screen. I cannot see the shuttle itself. I don't know if it's able to continue on one rocket booster. If it's able to jettison that rocket booster, it will be able to return to the Kennedy Space Center, perhaps. The shuttle engines are not enough to power 